You're looking straight ahead, never looking back. I never want to go back to that place again. You're looking straight ahead, looking straight ahead, looking straight ahead, oh, looking straight ahead, looking straight ahead. I never want to go back. I never want to go back to that place again. How long ago did you have that surgery? October. October 13th. October. Man, two, two of them I had. So when, I, so when he got out of the hospital, he was in between places to stay. He was staying in a local motel. And he called me up. Probably, you know, feeling pretty good on the pain medication and stuff. But he called yeah. me up. I went over and saw him at the hotel. And correct me if I'm wrong, but you were only supposed to have a couple levels done, right? Yeah, I was he was only supposed to have a couple levels with his lower back done. And he was kind of me, he was in a lot, really, really discomfort, a lot of discomfort. And I've had my lower back surgery, and I, you know, it's going to feel like that. But so let me let me see what your what your start, what your surgery looks like. We turned around, and I pulled up his back. I pulled up his shirt. His entire back was, you have scoliosis, right? Hyposcoliosis. Uh, 
uh, little did he know they did his whole spine. Him. His scar was from here to the, his whole spine. He had no idea. I took a picture of it and showed it to him. And uh, I didn't know that they were going to go that far. Yeah. I took uh, they took an X-ray like three weeks before, and he kind of <coughs> looked and said, "Well, you know, I want to look at that." And then, uh, but he didn't tell me, you know. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Come along, right? It was painful. Yeah. A couple of uh, blood transfusions, and uh, I wasn't breathing too good. But I kept saying, Joe, Joe, don't let me go. <laughs> well, glad to hear it, Warren. I do, I, uh, I don't know if anybody knows. Um, <clears throat> yeah, a little over seven years ago, I decided, you know, I think I got to put the drink down, you know, and uh, it was getting the best of me, and I, uh, I got hooked up with a fellow named uh, Fred. And everybody knows, a lot of people know Fred. He's helped uh, a tremendous amount of people uh, <clears throat> in this whole area. And uh, yeah, living with him, you know, right away I'm battling how I was gonna quit drinking, what I was gonna do. And uh, he looked at me and said, first you gotta take the cotton out of your ears and put it in your mouth. You just might learn. I was like, Unfortunately, I, I lost him. Uh, he was he ended up. Uh, he fell several times. I was with him for uh, five years, a little over five years, and uh, he started falling. And uh, he was ninety-four, so he, he had a good run. And um, yeah, Fred was good. He was good. He was good. Just lost Fred what, last week. Joe Joe Noom. Um, yeah. yeah, last week. Sorry, sorry. Why was his caretaker for quite a long time? Well, anyways, uh, yeah, I'm feeling better. And guitar does a lot for me. Uh, I quit playing for a long time when I started playing. Uh, you know, when I was at Fred's house, and actually, uh, that's when we started getting along. You know, I started playing guitar, and he's like, you know, hey, keep playing. It's a gift from God. And uh, so I did. to my guitar and the other strings.
Unfortunately, I got a, I got a buzz in my guitar. Sounds great. It does sound nice. Man. All right. 